myself since what? joining the SEALs as part of an elite ghost squad that's should have been Finn, right? Who? Wet work. Please do um, that. Terra Towers. Yeah, yeah. Terra Towers is fire. We are live. We are live. We are live. Did I say welcome to the main event? Run that thing, Are you mad? Oh, man. Behave before you talk about what I'm talking about, yeah? Disclaimer. Run that thing back. Now, man, just stay there in your corner, man. Run that thing back, fam. I don't want to hear nothing from you. We. Our live guys, I'm Joe, one further the Cybernerds. Revenue GS. And welcome to a review breakdown of Marvel's What If episode 6, What If Killamonger Saved Tony Stark. Raven, what are your views and opinions on this week's episode of What If? Wait! Roll to 200k, subscribe to the damn channel. What if the Cybernerds had 200,000 subscribers? <laughs> you know what's making me laugh here? Yeah? Go on. Is that the title is What If Killamonger Saved Tony Stark? Yeah. Man just prolonged his life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah, by the way, Tony dies. Yeah, I mean. Killamonger dies. Anyone else dies? Killamonger don't die. Not Black Killamonger, Black, Black, Black Panther, Panther dies. Black Panther Killamonger dies. dies. Rhodey dies. Yeah. Claw dies. Yeah, a lot of deaths, a lot of deaths, but... No, man, you know what? It's a it's an interesting um, episode where they pair these two uh, who are part of this whole military life. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, Tony sells weapons, Killamonger's on the front line, although he has his own motives, but... No, it was a good remix from from the his initial story that we saw in Black Panther, remixed with Tony's uh, trip in... Is that Afghanistan? I think it's. I think it is. Yeah. Yeah, and obviously using that that specific event to run his plans instead of just do what he did in a previous movie. So now, man, it was it was a really good episode. Yeah, man. I think I think it's interesting because obviously you know Killamonger went to MIT, so did Tony. So I feel like that link there. Obviously, like they're always trying to show how intelligent Killamonger actually is. So I feel like this level, this plan, like him going around this way about it, I think makes sense as well. Especially if he does have um, knowledge of the Ten Rings and stuff like that. I've always wanted to see like if Killamonger and Zemo crossed paths because they both did special Black Ops stuff mm -hmm. in the universe mm -hmm. as well. So mm -hmm. I thought like maybe if they threw something out like that in there with him would have been sick as well. Um, it's interesting to see how the way that it kind of transpires in this episode because I think for me, once Killamonger saved Tony, I still thought that Tony would become Iron Man. Do you know what I'm saying? Because I felt like it wasn't necessarily the blowing up and getting a shrapnel in man's chest. It was the realisation that the weapons that he's making are killing other people and that's why. But then I'm going to guess the influence of Killamonger probably Stop influenced that, man yeah. into doing, into doing what, what happens here instead of him being empowered by himself to move stuff. So maybe, yeah. Like, bro, I thought it was all right. Do you know what I'm saying? I thought it was all right. I do still like how Killamonger still Killamonger, still fighting for the oppressed, still taking the Magneto route. Like, I'm with that. So I thought that was tough. Um, I do think that some of the other characters were a bit dumb, though. Do you know what I, I'm saying? I felt that about Tony. Because, I felt that about because even, if, even though Even though with Tony... Um, he obviously clocked what Killamonger had done, mm. but you still like you still didn't have another contingency to to when you brought the the the, the mecha into the room. Yeah, do you know what I mean? So I was like, yo, like Killamonger's running games over here, and as someone like if we go back to the Avengers, he was always on on Fury's case. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Not trusting, always. Always checking with his gadgets to see what's in the background. Maybe that's because he came, was a hostage at one point. Maybe. Maybe because Abastai staying back. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, but I think the the Killamonger saving him really does change a lot of the character. Yeah, but then uh, Abadai is still gets exposed for lying to man by Killamonger. Exactly, and that's why you trust Killamonger even more if you're Tony. So I guess if you yeah, yeah, they rap, played, yeah, he played all. He played all every yeah, oh, okay, every like, single angle. Killamonger is OD like the mastermind, like on every level. Mm. But it's just like like he probably outplays everyone. I still do think that Tony should have been better when the Mac the Mecha came into the room, mm. and I still think that um, <clears throat> T'Chaka King T'Chaka should have been a bit smarter with man just showing up like that as well. So, but oh, do, do oh, you do you think? With with 
King T'Chaka is more of like, oh, because he killed his yep, dad. Yep, 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 yep. He's, he's, See, he's yes. like, he's taking the seat back, like, yeah. oh, like, I've got to make the up for this. Yeah, the yeah, guilt, the guilt is I've got to push this youth forward. But at the same time, I would think that from the line that Killamonger said, oh, if I knew who killed my dad, I'd get revenge. That If I was the killer of man's dad, mm. I would feel the guilt, but I would also feel like, I've got to watch this, brother. Yeah, you'd be on the edge, yeah. So I'm not pouring that purple herb into man's mouth, pause. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. Like, I'm not doing that, bro. That would be a bit mad. One, so, yeah. one, one thing that we did, we was discussing during the, the watch along. If you want to watch the watch along, patreon.com for slash the cyber nerds, full episode reaction. It was Rody. Bro, you, your, your idea was mad. Do you know what I mean? Because obviously I was saying it's what if, so it would, what if it was uh, Terrence Howard, Terrence Howard Can't instead, do it. Of, instead of Don Cheadle. You can't do it. Do you know what I mean? You can't do it. Okay, why? You can't do it because it's just disrespectful to Don Cheadle, bruv. Don Cheadle is the MCU's war machine. And like, bruv, Don Cheadle, bro, I, bruv, I love you, fam. I love you, fam. But Terrence Howard's war machine is just a different animal, fam. Yeah, I... I He's just a different guy. I, and I liked I really liked it in the first Iron Man, bruv. But where they're at in the universe, bruv, I there's get, no way. I get it, but it's just obviously... We're, we're like we're, I'm coming from like the what the, if the, yeah the fan well firstly the fan side and secondly it's a what if so why all not all the characters look obviously the same. from 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 what happened to my man and him putting uh, Junior into into that role play and and then later on not carrying on role because of you know what, what happened they all I thought maybe obviously it's not it's not these lots um, actually no it is because. It was already under Disney, wasn't it? Marvel yeah. was still under Disney back yeah, then, bro. So I, I guess they, it's I bro. guess they wouldn't do that because it's they already it's done that. Do you know what I mean? This is what I'm saying. Like, like, maybe, but bro, no. maybe someone that could be like, oh, like it would be cool to bring my man back. It wouldn't it? be cool, bro. It wouldn't be cool, fam. Because Don Cheadle would be pissed, bro. And if I was Don Cheadle, I'd be pissed as well, bro. Really, fam? I've been that guy for a decade, bro. Like War Machine's Don Cheadle at this point, fam. Like us, man, wanting that is just us, man. Just, just be what, a fan. Yeah, just bro. Just fans yeah, doing it. Yeah, like, we just we, mad sometimes. Yeah, we had something good and we wanted more of it. it didn't work out, bro. We gotta let that go, fam. But not here, fam. I I just could never see them doing that, fam. That would be mad. And if they did, and if, but what if, what if today we're watching this thing? It was done. It was. It was. It, it was Terrence. I feel like them man would be starting so, like I don't know. Would what, you have flipped like? Would you have like? I would have ah! lost it. I would have. I would have jumped up and down if it was voiced by him as well. I would have lost it. But at the same time, it's like. With with uh, war uh the the new show coming out, mm. Iron Wars or whatever it's called, fam. There's no way, bro. You need to be pushing Don Cheadle front and center, fam. Get Business me. wise makes sense. Bruv, it's the, Fan bro. wise, we would have preferred well, yeah. <laughs> Terrence, isn't it? Is what it is, man. Guys, yeah, man. jump in the comment section below. And let us know what you think about this episode of What If. Did you enjoy it? Did you like it? Like, where does this rank in the What Ifs for you? Also, where does Killermonger rank amongst villains? Or heroes, or anti anti heroes, no, no, no. or whatever. You <laughs> well, my can't even say that word anymore. I don't even believe. Bro, I just don't believe you in. Don't believe in anti heroes. I don't believe in anti heroes, bro. Like, how, how does that work, bro? Your hero. Listen, everyone's a hero. Everyone's a villain. Bro. Yeah. That's the there is no in between. There's no in between. There's what's no in gray. What's there's no grey. What's in between? I don't know, What's in between? Tony kills people, Thanos kills people. Brother, just what we're fighting for. <laughs> what are we fighting for? Do you know oh, what I'm saying? Oh, Guys, oh, jump oh, in the oh. comment section below. Heroes, villains, anti-heroes. How do you feel about that whole situation? Just, yeah, just go in. Also, subscribe to the channel, Road to 200K. If you want to watch the full episode, watch along of What If and any other Marvel series, head over to patreon.com forward slash cybernerds and check it over there. I just remembered one thing, sorry. Go ahead, do your two. Pepper joining up with Shuri. Shuri at the end yeah clearly like because last time we spoke about oh these men never brought um they're going to bring last episodes into next season mm. this seems to be the same thing as all because clearly now, now they're leaving now, stories unfinished yeah, yeah. so uh, is this an opportunity for them to bring it back to, to I, second season the or, thing, or second season would be the new the new mcu uh, phase. See, I will just do it. Wait for that. I think season two should be a collection of continued stories, yeah. but also a collection of new stories as well. 
Do you get what I'm saying? But in terms of this one specifically, Pepper and Shuri getting together isn't a big deal because in our universe, Pepper and Shuri are pretty much on good terms anyway. Like, Shuri's the one they picked to be the head of the science division in America mm -hmm. at the end of Black Panther, and Pepper should be running Stark Industries. Yeah, but then what if Shuri helps Pepper become Iron Woman? In there, yeah, that's fine. Do you know what like, I mean? They, like, can, create, through, they can create she, she Iron can, Man there. Yeah, like, she becomes the, the, the tech person, and then Pepper is the field, the one that goes out in the field. Cool, but, bruv, how, like, do I, how much do I want to see that compared to all the other stuff? Don't care. Yeah, I, I, I know, I know. I know, but that's what I'm what saying. If, we're living in what if right now, isn't it? It, so. can, it, can, it can all happen. It can all happen, but I don't know how interested personally I am in that story, bro. Well, because like, them two both have some sort of, like, revenge towards Killamong, because obviously yeah, Killamong kills Shuri's brother. She kills... Tell her, her, uh, her lover. I'm, bro, do you know I'm what I'm not, saying? I'm not against where they're going, but do I want to see Black Panther, Killamonger against Pepper and Shuri? Don't care for that, bro. <laughs> like, like, me, I just don't... Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, there's other, there's other things I'd rather... Like, do you know what I'm saying? Alright, uh, cool. I guess we'll get to see that. Yeah, but yeah, you just like, jump in the comment section about that. What dream matchups? Like, who would you want to see? Do you want to see Killer Dream matchups? Bro, do you want to see Killer Man go against Shuri and Pepper? Like, do you want Pepper and Shuri to create the... First, the Mark One all over again. Like, what? What do you want? That Mark One be a madness, you know. Probably would be. at the helm, Come and on. it's got to have vibranium in it as well, so it's all gonna be a bit. Yeah, mad. it'll be crazy. But yeah, guys, I'm Joe One Further the Savages. Revenge GS. We'll see you next time. Peace.